So yes, we cannot come back from this. You cannot get back to that um, boat any longer. At the same time, though, I would like to see if there is maybe... Nope, invisible wall. All right, you win. Oh, it looks like a little hole in the ground there. Maybe that's what... You know, something tells me that's where we're going to exit to get out of this area and come back. It just looks like that's what that type of place looks like. <laughs> I'm just going to make a guess here. I really honestly can't really remember. There, I, it's hard to say, so... We're getting somewhere, and this is now pseudo-blind completely. I actually did go into that boat, but I never got the Arcane Whorl, so, uh, which really reminds me of a Shadow Man Gad tattoo. Just as about as freaking good. Mana regeneration is top-notch. Looks like one of those Howlers were scouts. Whoa, buddy, you guys are little fast little cookies, aren't you? Slow down with some ice. Why don't you? And our level 3 Actoplasm doesn't help either. Or doesn't hurt either, I should say. Sorry, man. Your uh, disemboweled, eviscerated, decomposing corpse will not be in vain, hopefully. Unless I die a couple times, and it might. Or I shoot myself with the splash damage of this uh, ice ball, which you don't really see any splash damage, so don't shoot too fast. Now that is cool. Look at that. <laughs> Give you a bit of a sense of impending doom, although the howlers aren't very doom impending. Oh well. Or maybe just more scouts. And ho 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 ho! Whoa, whoa! What are what's going on here? Hey, are you guys friendly? Nope. You bastards! What are you guys, Renit? Mercenaries? Vigilantes? What the heck? What did we do? Great. This might be a reason to have uh, a pistol out, and I think we're going to do just that, actually. Locked. Tower key. Yeah, wow. Bit of a branching path here. Well, ab up on the hills is where they said they saw Elizabeth, so this must be what they're talking about. Well, actually, no, I just went through a boat ride. They probably didn't see her this far away. Well, one of these paths is going to lead to something, and one of them is not. So, what are you? Hey! What happened? Oh, you son of a bitch. You alright there? Hey, try to get out of the way. Uh, hopefully, I don't want to see you die, buddy. So, someone was here, though. Who? Ingredients. Interesting. I can only hope that someone will find these scribblings of mine. Someone who can continue my quest, for I may not be long for this earth. I seek a magical talisman, an evil weapon known as the Scythe of the Celt. I fear that this weapon has fallen into their wrong hands, and so I have undertaken a quest to find the Scythe, before it was taken from this ancient monastery. You see, hard as it may be to believe, there is a way to travel back to the days when this monastery was populated with the wise monks who first found the Scythe of the Celt. These monks were versed in the ways of magic, and they had a portal that would allow them to travel across distant lands, instantaneously across distant times as well. I know not exactly where this portal is, but I do know that three items are required to open it. A golden medallion in the shape of the sun. A potion made up primarily of mercury. And finally, an ancient scroll on which the incantation to open the portal was written. I myself have found this medallion and hidden it nearby, but the other two components elude me yet. And now, it appears I will never have a chance to find them. I have broken my leg, and I fear that these strange dog beasts that roam this land can sense my weakness. They come closer with each passing of the sun. I fear that they will soon attack. May faith be my armor. Brother Jonathan McMuir.
bastards. Huh. And sure. Oh, holy shit. My gun is not jammed. I'm just reloading, ass. He's reloading. Wow, that's pretty cool. They know that though. Hey, get up. Can I get him up? That'd be awesome. Oh, very cool. Look at that. That is creepy as shit. Huh. Alright, buddy. What do you think? Huh? You guys just sh shot the shit out of me. Alright, well. Got the tower key. That would be useful. Let's, uh... The tower looks pretty finite, so I think we're just gonna head up there right away first. Feel much better. All right, buddy. Let's uh, take care of some business here. Although something tells me you're gonna disappear the moment this door opens. If it's a loading screen, which it most likely is. Although you can see inside. So, oh well, never mind. Sorry. What have we got in here? Is this the hidden sudden medallion that uh, the brother McMurr, or whatever his name is, hid for us? Chest key and the sun medallion. Nice. So, I don't know where the chest key is. I don't know if we need to go up here or not. <laughs> uh, definitely out of the way here. It's hard to say. Ah, something tells me we can't go there just yet. Just something tells me. So, it looks like we need to go into this, uh, what seems to be a derelict remains of a monastery of some sort. Well, guess we uh, have no choice but to visit that place then. Donkey, you just stay alive. Hey guys. You guys are of no danger to us. And I guess these donkeys must be from the renegade people, which... They're just following orders, so I can't get too mad at them, but still, someone did leave here, one of the leaders, it looks like, into that door right there. Whoa! God, where'd you come from? Donkeys. And if you do actually kill a uh, NPC, wow, that was... They, um, the game just, like, kind of softly phased the black and you reload the game, but I don't think donkeys would count, but we're still going to leave these jackasses alone. Oh, that's nice. Are you seriously trying to surprise attack me? <laughs> nice try, buddy. And as you notice with that little roll that Patrick did in that scene, you, there is a sneak function by hitting the C key. Well, what I have is mapped to the C key, is you can slightly walk a little bit slower, which I think almost does nothing. It might, like, let you get, like, two feet closer or something. That's about it. So. Oh, well. So we need a potion made of mer mercury here, and I have the sun medallion, and then I need the actual incantation. Hey, what the f Will you die? Holy shit, asshole. Yeah, that's pretty cool detail, though. That's where the blood was se seeping through. Ugh. Sorry, buddy. But it looks like this is where we're wanting to go. Yeah, sneak way into the monastery. Unfortunately, boring me, before I do that, need to check. Well, I'm sure we'll come back later. <laughs> Alright, no returning from that. <laughs> Buddy? Hey. Yikes. All these wood creaking sounds, a squeaky old monastery. I swear I hear people moving. Hey! You have a shotgun, that's kind of scary. Pretty damn strong, too. Nice. I would, oops. I would love to uh, wake you up. Ooh, a shotgun! Yes! Come on. 
You're a pretty strong enemy. I might be able to... I don't know if I... Uh, you're gone. But we have a shotgun, and that is awesome. And if you couldn't tell, Patrick is left-handed, obviously. I don't know how you wield a double-barrel shot... Sawn-off double-barrel shotgun otherwise. Oh, yes. Individual or... Individual or double shot. So that's double shot, and that's single shot, it looks like. Let's do double shot for fun. What's the fun with a double-barrel shotgun if you don't shoot both at the same time, right? Yes. Hey, buddy. Hey, green guy. Ooh, that's strong. Although I gotta aim right, too. Oh, yes. Woohoo, nice. Now this is a gun. Do want to see that ammo, though. It's great and everything, but I like how you actually put away your weapon, too. Like, there's actually different little animation for you putting your way your weapon. Such nice little finite details that, uh, you can truly appreciate. Is it safe? Need a key. Aha! Oh my god. Oh, this game is so good. So freaking good. So much wonder, so much exploration. And that guy was pretty damn strong, too, if I do say so myself. Holy cow, he he took a lot of, de of, of death to kill. And it makes sense, because he's uh, one of the ringleaders, and he also held a uh, permanent weapon for uh, Patrick. Ah, nice. Shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. And it's very possible we could find a secret item around here. I need to make sure I don't, you know, unturn any... Don't miss any, any stone here to unturn here, because... Hard to say what we could find. Although I'd say we're looking for a trapdoor key, and probably... Most likely... Down here, and I bet you need the chest key to open this. Yep, trapdoor key inside of the... <laughs> nice. Key for a key. Like it. And great. Okay. Well then. Oh, hey. More useless Molotovs. Never know, though. Could use it in a pinch, I guess. Yeah, we don't need to waste the shotgun shells yet. Plenty fine with our frost frostbite war cannon. Okay, well, I say that uh, does it for the monastery. We now can go into the trapdoor. So before I do that, I'm going to take a little exploration behind the monastery. Just in case. Just so I know I did, you know? I regret nothing. That was worth it. And it looks like the Scythe of the Celt, or the Celt? The Celt? Yeah, Scythe, Scythe of the Celt, I think is what it said, is uh, the artifact that they're talking about. Oh boy, looks like we're not coming back here, but I think we're ready. Here we go!